shukran za dhati jamii kiboi kwa taarifa hiyo kwa undani tukiendelea ni kwa takwimu zinaonyesha kwamba sauti na maoni ya vijana hayapati kuuzwa katika soko za kuchangia kwa masuala mengi yanayoadhiri jamii kama vile kubuni kwa sheria na hata uteuzi wa viongozi katika jamii ndio maana taasisi ya IASR inawaleta washikadau katika sekta ya kiteknolojia ili kuwahusisha vijana kwa mada hizi kidijitali kwa sababu vijana wana ushawishi mkubwa Samson Jura ana kina cha taarifa hiyo Kulingana na matokeo ya sensa ya mwaka 2019 idadi ya vijana kati ya umri wa miaka 15 hadi 24 ipo katika 20.3% 5.5% zaidi ya kiwango cha ulimwengu lakini idadi hii ya vijana inahisi kwamba hawapati fursa nzuri ya kujihusisha katika masuala nyeti yanayokumba jamii hii ni kwa sababu katika umri huu watu wengi wamo shuleni na wakati wamo shuleni hawapati taarifa jinsi wanavyoweza kujihusisha katika mambo kama haya Maoni ya vijana katika jamii kwa muda mrefu hayajakuwa yakisikika katika swala kama vile kupangwa kwa bajeti ya kaunti na ya kitaifa, miradi ya kiserikali, upigaji msasa wa viongozi na serikali katika jamii na kadhalika. Na ni kwa sababu ya wazo hili ndipo taasisi ya utafiti katika masomo ya kila siku IASR kwa ushirikiano na shirika la Sprout Africa wakifadhiliwa na shirika la Ford Foundation wakijiunga na washikadau katika sekta ya kiteknolojia na kidijitali ili kuhamasisha vijana kujihusisha na mambo yanayoathiri jamii kisheria, kifedha na kimaendeleo ili wao pia waweze kusikika kwa sababu mbinu za ukusanyaji wa maoni kwa raia kwa sasa zimewatenga vijana how well can uh, the younger people be engaged uh, digitally and uh, does digital engagement also have a place in the uh, duty bearers for example the government and other parastatals like IBC for example uh, so all that uh, we are still at a stage where we are going around to collect this information and once that information is uh, uh, put together we shall uh, come back to the to the to the public and uh, disseminate the same IASR limebuni jukwaa ambapo mijadala itawaleta pamoja wajumbe wa wawekezaji katika sekta ya kiteknolojia na mawasiliano, vyombo vya habari pamoja na vijana ili kubuni mfumo wa kidijitali utakaotumika na idara za serikali katika kufanya kila mtu apate kuwakilishwa katika utoaji wa maoni ambayo yatachangia katika kutoa uamuzi wa kijamii kama ilivyodokezwa katika katiba ya Kenya mwaka mbili na kumi. So the best thing is how can we start a conversation? probably can be able to lead to a, 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 a legislation a effective legislation where we can also engage young men and women who are in, who are in, who are in this particular space and they are techno, techno savvy so that they can make sure that they also contribute for the well-being of their of their issues within their respective communities kwa kuwa vijana wana ushawishi mkubwa wa kidijitali ambao unajumuisha mitandao ya kijamii pamoja na vyombo vya habari basi itakuwa rahisi kwao kupaza sauti katika utekelezaji wa jamii bora still surveying how do we make that entry and start engaging the youth on digital platforms yeah because now we are looking even the government you know this thing of e-government where now we we apply for our passports uh, online we, we uh, our driver li driver's license online so we want to see that is we offer services Gov the government already offer services on the digital space but we are not engaging on the digital space Samson Jura, KUTV.